Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are brand new here, my name is Tiffany and I am a total rookie homeschooling mama of three boys. This is our second year homeschooling and so I'm just kind of sharing tips as I discover them along the way. Um, if you are returning here, hello and welcome back. I am so happy to have you return. How are you doing? Tell me in the comments below. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a little peek inside of the Times Tales uh, DVD system for Times Table memorization. That is sort of a tongue twister, my goodness. And a couple of little additional things that we used in teaching our boys their Times Tables. I did use the Times Table system, which is right over here, to teach my kindergartner and my third grader their Times Tables at the same time. It was wild and really unexpected, you guys this program is amazing. And then these little learning wrap ups are a little additional tool that we used to supplement. And I'm going to explain how we incorporated this all to teach our children their times tables really quickly and effectively in about a week. So if you're interested in a quick and easy way to teach your child their times tables or times tales, um, go ahead and stay tuned because I think that this video is going to be really informative for you. So I went ahead and picked up this Times Tales DVD from Amazon. I got this back in February and I was a little bit hesitant. Um, I kind of bought it for fun. Our math curriculum that we were using, uh, which is Math Mammoth, totally covered times tables for my son who is in third grade but I wanted something a little bit more effective at teaching the memorization part, like really focusing on honing in on like that magical element of memorization that we all strive for with the times tables and our division facts as well. So I picked this up from Amazon. This says learn the upper times tables in a snap. And I'm going to just flip it around over here so that you can read what it says on the back. This says times tales will take you on a learning adventure through the upper times tables. It claims that you can um, pretty much have them memorized in about an hour. And it does say that it is highly effective with learning disabilities. And so that's what I was most curious about because my son does have some sensory processing issues. Um, I also liked that it said that this is a right brain method of learning and that children will ask for more. In my experience with this program, that is absolutely true. My kids think that this is the funnest little game. So the stories are a little bit cheesy, you guys. I'm gonna be honest, my kids, the first time we watched the DVD, they were like, what in the world is this, mom? They're like really silly little stories, but that's the whole point of it is to make them memorable. So on this side, you have a DVD. The DVD um, kind of walks you through the entire program. It's very um, interactive. Your children are expected to sort of like talk to the TV while they're um, going through that process. So you can actually put this CD into your laptop or your desktop computer. It's gonna have tests, cube games, and crossword puzzles and flashcards. I'm gonna show you exactly what those look like and how I implement them in our homeschool, but that's where you can find them. You just pop them in and print them out. So that's a DVD and the CD that comes with the set from Amazon. And then you also get this mini flip book. Now this flip book is going to have the little stories. So these are the number symbols and the way that they actually teach you your times tables is by memorization through these funky little shapes. So it looks like I may have had a toddler draw on ours. <laughs> um, raise your hand if you have been a victim of toddler vandalism in your house. Look at my table. Um, and so this is for part one here. These are the funny little stories. So this one says the sixth grade class played musical chairs for 24 hours. So the sixth grade class played musical chairs for 24 hours is what the children memorize. They're looking at the picture. This is six times four, 24 hours. So they're visualizing these symbols and then they memorize that the number 24 is associated with that. And so there are these little phrases I guess you would call them for every fact. And it just goes all the way through the upper times tail. It is really, really effective. My kids, like I said, they thought that the little lines were kind of cheesy, but once they realized that it was helping them memorize their times tables, they were so into it. So this actually has a little section for drills. So you can do it, you can practice it on there. I don't think that those are, um, dry erase or anything like that. 
So when you pop the CD into your computer, you're gonna have the option to print out whatever you'd like. There are these um, printables. They come as a sheet and then you cut them out. I actually went ahead and laminated them because I knew that I would be using them for multiple students and I needed them to stay um, just nice and preserved. So I laminated those guys. You have the ones with the picture symbols. I think all of these have them. No, they're split up. So the goal is to really have your child memorize the little stories in their head and be able to do this eventually. So those are the division ones. You get printables for the division and then you get printables for the multiplication as well. And same deal, we have the ones with the pictures and then the ones without. So I like having those laminated. My kids love going through those when I just need to like load the dishwasher or something and they need something to do that's super easy for them. I also printed out these practice tests. So I made these usable with dry erase marker by just laminating them. Again, we have practice with the pictures and then we have the test that is without the pictures so that you're really honing in on that memorization factor. My kids really enjoy this. They do it for fun, even though they already have these all memorized. This is just the part one. I do have part two, but just for um, time purposes, I wanted to make this easy and I'm just showing you part one. So something that I use in addition to the Times Tales program are these learning wrap ups. Um, I mostly use these for my third grader. My um, kindergartner can go up to his threes on these. I like to use these to reinforce the learning. I have them for both multiplication and division. And basically what they are is on this side, you start, you do four times one is four, you wrap it up over there, and then the answers are indented on the back. So this is just a fun tool. It has nothing to do with the Trigger Memory Times Tales program, but I wanted to mention it because we do use it to um, help reinforce the learning that we're doing with the Times Tales program. So my thoughts on this program are obviously that I believe it is an amazing, amazing system. I, I think it is extremely effective. My kindergartner, memorized the whole first half of this program in one day just because he was watching his brother. I didn't start him with the intention of memorizing them at all. I got this for my third grader and it just so happened that this system was so much fun that he wanted to do it and he memorized it. I'm going to see if I can find a clip to insert here of him actually going through the program and memorizing it on the very first day. It was amazing. The, so the four stands for the chair uh -huh. and the nine stands for the tree house. Uh -huh. and, and I'll tell the story. Okay. The chair got stuck in the tree house after somebody tied three kites and six balloons. And the answer is 36. Good job. Mrs. Wee went butterfly hunting. She caught 20 in her neck and one landed on her head. And that would be 21. Good, three times seven is 21. Yeah. So I think that what they say on the back of here, um, what does it say? Saves time and most kids have their times tales memorized in one hour. I think that that is absolutely a true claim. My kids are a true testament of that. Like I said, it wasn't a requirement, but it was really fun and kind of cool to see our kindergartner, you know, learning his times tables. It was awesome. As far as my third grader goes, I think that this was a really fun way to solidify learning that we were already doing. So we had already exposed him to these basic multiplication facts. Through the program, he is a master now because if he forgets, he has these little riddles or I don't know what they are, stories to think back on. So he sees those numbers and like the company is called Trigger Memory. It triggers his memory to remember those little stories. So I think that the program is absolutely effective in that aspect. Um, he was already really good with addition and some multiplication. And so this program just helped him be able to like, no nonsense, be able to divide and multiply really, really quickly. So. 
this is a really good option if you have kids that really enjoy multi-sensory stuff. If you have kids that love things on screens, I think that this is fun. It doesn't take a lot of time. I was concerned that it was going to take hours and hours. Um, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how many times you stop and rewind like my kids do. They love doing that. Um, so yeah, I think that this is a really great and effective program. I highly recommend it. If you have any questions about it, let me know and I'll answer them in the comments below. I know that this was a really informal video, so let me know if I didn't touch on anything that you're curious about. I would be happy to answer that. I hope that this video gave you sort of a better idea of what to expect when you purchase the program because I know I kind of found that hard um, to find online. So I hope that this kind of gave you an idea of what you can expect when you get it, what you're gonna get as far as your printables go and how to apply it. And then an additional tool that you can use to help you get through the season of learning and mastering time tables. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, won't you please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!